Four. Good Amazon Dingo Joan. Welcome to the Legend of Spyro: A New Beginning. Now, I I used to play this game a while ago um, with the other Spyros. I used to have PlayStation Two. Well, obviously everyone did. Um, so yeah, I just I played all the other Spyros. So, uh, yeah, I'm cool. I played all the Spyros. You know, I'm a typical Spyro fan. If you don't know what Spyro is, it's a game. Um, it used to be a collect-a-thon game. If you don't know what that is, you go in and collect stuff. It sounds kind of weird, but whatever. That's what those old games were, and it was pretty fun. It was really, really fun. Um, but this one is like this, this sort of story version, I guess. So yeah, and I'm, I guess I'll play this with you guys. It's gonna be fun. All right, so I hope you have your popcorn, your tasty beverage, and it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. In the year of the dragon. In a world beyond the realms. I, like all the others, awaited the birth of the dragon of whom the prophecies foretold. But the Dark Master heard the prophecies as well. I should have hidden the eggs long before, but I... I thought we were ready. I thought they were safe. Oh. How I was wrong. Save them! The dark armies have come! May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. Okay, there we go. There's the intro. Um, sorry, I didn't say before when I said, um, oh, you know what Spyro is or whatever. Um, Spyro is a dragon, right? It's like a, I guess like a rare purple breed or something. I have no, I don't really know, but anyway, it's a cool dragon. Um, when I used to play this, I don't think, oh no, that's right, no, I did finish it. I did finish it, but I just don't remember all the things that happened, right? And I guess I'm gonna finish it with you guys. Hooray! Woo! Yeah! Legend of Sparrow in the beginning. Yeah, woo! Um, anyway, so. This music's loud, so. Whatever. Oh, well, I could, guess I could just turn down the sound editing. Yeah. Yeah. Editing's cool. Eventually, the egg came to rest in a distant swamp. But a family of dragonflies gathered round, wondering what magnificent creature could possibly live inside. They didn't have to wonder for long. Here we go. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Well, that's the magic of recording, I guess. Happens all the time. What emerged from the egg frightened them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come! It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. They named him Spyro, and he grew up alongside Sparks, the young dragonfly who was born the same day. In fact, the two were almost like brothers. And a more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy. As for Spyro, <laughs> he, like all of us, accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. 
a big purple one of them, true. But one of them, nonetheless. I suppose you suck at trying to find them anyway. Use right analog stick to move the camera to find sparks. Here he is. Sorry, I just changed settings and now the camera's a little bit better. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. Sure, 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 XD. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Can I run now? Yay! Use the left analog stick, that thing, to move Spyro. Sure thing. I love this area, right? This sort of art style of this area. When I used to play it, I remember this spot and, oh, just so good. I loved it. I don't know why, just. I love the, I think I love this, this sort of scenery the best out of all of them. Alright, press and hold X to jump. Hold on, what if I just tap it then? I think it's the same. Oh, you can glide a bit. Okay, right. Yeah, hey, Sparks. What's the matter, little Spyro? You can't fly? Oh, that's right, you walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> You're toast when I catch you! <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Okay, what was it? Uh, this one? Yeah, this one. Oh, oh, right. Uh, um, okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. I'm just gonna figure out all the controls. What the hell? What are you doing? Okay, sure. Uh, okay, here we go. Ah, uh, must be tough to lose all the time. Ah! All right, let me out of here, you overgrown fungus. Spyro, seriously, let me a hand here, will you, brother? Geez, Sparks, I don't know. Frogweed's got to eat too. Spyro, whack it. Good one, Fredo. Good one. I'm your buddy. My wings are getting moldy. Yeah, get him. Ugh. Now I smell almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. See you later, sucker. So much for gratitude. Feel the same, Frodo. Feel the same. Let's kill these weird bug thingies. Come on, get him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, butterfly. Oh, oh, I thought I actually killed him and he exploded, but that was just the, that was the stream. Yeah, he did. Woo. Hey, oh, that's, that's scary. cheating. We're not allowed in there. Uh, excuses, excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. Hmm. Oh, where's that little Matt gone now? Over there, didn't you see him? Jeez. Where's that little Matt gone now? Has everybody seen a giant purple thing around here? I seem to have lost mine. Rah, gotcha! Oh. Kill this room. And the wall. Die, goat plant. Oh, hilarious. Quality content right here. You know, this is getting a little bit <laughs> Sparks! <laughs> I thought all you guys was gone. Miserable coward, let me go! <laughs> Don't let him get away! Tricks, come on, you got this. Woo. Yay. He's 
good dynamite. Ah. Hit it away. Let me out of here and fight me like a thing, whatever you are. You pathetic wretch. I've had about enough of you. Sparks, look out! No! What the? This fire is invisible. <laughs> Was that fire, dude? Uh. Take care of him. I gotta report to sender. I think the camera's all stuffed up. Hold on. Okay, it should be right now. Okay. <laughs> Use X to. Now I can breathe fire. So all of them? Yep, there we go. Get me out of here, Spyro. I think my wings are singed. You okay? You almost torched me, dude. Wait. You breathe fire! So I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty when Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flames from the mouth. Well, I, I, I was just trying to help. No, some help. He nearly turned me to ashes, dude. Mom, Dad, you should have seen him. He came out breathing fire. All right? I tell you, it was crazy. You don't believe me. Sp Spyro, tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh. Flame City. It's not that, Spyro. I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night that Spyro learned he wasn't a dragonfly after all, but in fact an exile from an unknown distant land. So, you, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else. Far away, where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that night that Spyro decided to venture forth and find his home. So that's it, huh? Leaving sparks behind the old homestead? Not a care in the world. Don't look back. This is your home, Sparks. But I just found out that my home is out there somewhere. And I've got to find it. Besides, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just leaving you where you belong. Well, I thought I belonged with you. Because I'm always with you. But I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm sure I'm wrong in a lot of things. You know what? You're right, I'm wrong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up, your nose clean, and use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. That was kind of rude. <laughs> so, hard as it was, Spyro left the only family he had ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know. Oh, someone, oh, what the? Is that, is the camera meant to do that? <laughs> what eyes? I'm Spider-Man! What the hell is that? What is that? It's a really weird shroom. Guys, you aren't really. Just die. Ha ha. Alrighty. Oh, geez, that is a spider shroom. Alrighty. Sure. Here you go. There you go. Yeah. 
Press X, X, double jump, hold X to up top. To glide. Spyro, so uh, me and the old man were chatting, and this whole belonging thing, you know, came up, and we decided that best friends belong together. Even if one of them is purple and does have some weight issues. Weight issues, huh? Well, at least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh, please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. Oh! Ah, look at the beautiful scenery. All these purple shrooms. And these monkeys. Dead. I think. Most of them. Oh, no. Okay, I do not remember this. I don't remember this. Alright, you can strafe around. That was easy. Oh. Oh. Oh, right, there we go, like that. I see. I don't even need to do that. Hi there. I'm guessing down there's death. Oh no, not really. Ah, Phil! Sparks, don't you have like some sort of ability you can use? Can't you help? No, not really. Okay. I'll just just now. There you go, get all the crystals. Um the green ones put up my fire ability and the red ones put up my health if you didn't know that. Just, if you're silly. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Breathe, Sparks, old boy. Go to your happy place. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, I'm going this way. Far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. When he and I finally met again for the very first time. The oh, whole... It's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> you're... You're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? D do you know me? Where do I come from? W what are you? What are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There are others? Others? There were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and grotto are now gone. Overran by Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? Where I came from, I mean? No, no, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you. They? Well, who is they? And, and why did they come oh, for me? Holy question. Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You. Does that mean him? Wait. 
This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might have uh, mixed that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Army's attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. For many years, we fought all over the islands. Brutal clashes with the armies of the Dark Master, who was intent on preventing the prophecies from coming true. The other three guardians and I led our small but valiant forces into battle after battle against our ruthless mercenary foe. And when we were beginning to turn the tide, Cinder came. Cinder? Yes, Cinder. Cinder was, is, monstrous, horrific, ferocious, a black dragon that fills the skies with terror, an unstoppable force of nature. Uh, yeah, you had me at ferocious. Listen, sounds like that thing that was chasing us, Spyro. Yes, she still searches for me. And years ago, I watched as Cinder plucked the other guardians from the fields of battle, like so many ripe grapes from a vine. Without them, our cause is lost. Only I, Ignitus, managed to escape. Not that it matters. Cinder now rules all, and I sit here wondering what might have been, what else I might have done. Wow. Sounds fun. I want to hang out with this guy. Yeah, why have you given up? I just find out that I'm this special dragon, and you tell me all is lost? That I have no home or family left? I've come way too far to give up now. I want to see where I come from. Hold up, Savior Boy. Were you not listening to this guy? He's talking about flying dragons and war and horrible... This is bad stuff, all right? I don't know if we're hearing the same thing. Yes, Spyro. It's not as simple as that. It's true, the prophecies spoke of the purple dragon destined to put his stamp on this age. But the prophecies didn't foretell the devastation that surrounds us now. Maybe you're right, but I'm willing to try. I want to take the first step. You're actually going to go along with this lunatic. Very well, then. We'll go. You deserve to see your beginning before it all ends. Am I the only one sane here? He's telling us we're doomed, all right? That's when I go, ah, maybe we should, you know, go back to the forest with the flowers and the fun stuff. There weren't any flowers, the really disgusting shrooms and... whatever. No. Really disgusting shrooms and those really weird... really weird thingies. I don't even know what they are, those alive plants. Destroy things. Oh, I was gonna destroy that shroom. Cinder's soldiers must have knocked the other two statues out of place. Heathens. What other two statues? On the other side of this door are two statues just like these. When all four statues are positioned correctly, the door opens. Wow. Yeah, good. I was never good at geometry, so what do you want us to do? Spyro, I need you to get in there and move the statues in place. Me? How? There's a small tunnel that animals use to access the caves. Find it and use it. Yeah, animals are... Okay, you know what? You do that, and I'll wait here. Oh, this box so small. You should be able to fit in there. Okay, find some more caves used by animals and smash it open. Hello? You mean that thing? Oh, this camera is really annoying. Okay, for some random reason, when I put the stick up, it looks down, which is really annoying. 
That's not even that small. They should be able to fit in there. Also, Sparks isn't way behind. He's here. Sure thing. Oh my god, you have the tiniest bit of health left. Hey, win in doubt, break it, right? Go nuts. Okay. XX, circle. Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got ya. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Okay, um... Man. Man. Oh, jeez, stop. Are they just gonna keep coming? Insect trouble. Nothing I couldn't handle. Little insects? My tail section. The past is prelude to model a dim promise. Allow us entrance. Do not reject us. Are you making that up? It should open for us. There is a... Disturbance. There's a it seems disturbance my fears have been realized. They've desecrated the interior as well. Guess we'll have to open it the old-fashioned way. Make your way through the connecting rooms, restoring every statue you can find. Hey, Again. You know don't and say we didn't. Why don't you do it? You want my help? Money well. Hop up. All right. The old guy's coming to life. Careful, Spiral. Cinder's forces are surely on their way. Oh, goody. Ooh, take a gander at this. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Gives me more hey, of that. Spiral, what was that about? I don't really know. I just felt like I had to hit it. And when I did, the power of a thousand suns surged through my body. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? You should really sleep better. You know, I'm gonna stop bugging you. We really need to get eight hours. Forget I said anything. Let's go. Yup, it just puts up your life and stuff. Crystals are there for you. Hello, thing. Sure. Let's run through here. Oh, they're back. Yep, here he is. Jeez, a lot. Easy. Too easy.
That's quite an entrance, young dragon. There might be hope for us yet. What are these things? These are spirit gems. A gift from the ancestors. What kind of gift? A gift that speaks across generations. A gift that empowers you with the spirit of the past. Strengthening you with the wisdom of the ages. I feel more powerful already. Smash the gem clumps. Collecting blue gems will increase your spirit energy. Use it to upgrade your breaths. Upgrade the level up. Upgrade the screen on the the pause button. Yep, I remember this. Wait, hold on. Oh, right now they give me now they give me blue ones. Okay, right. Let's do that. Level up. Okay, fire up last. Amazing. Yep. Okay, that's all of it. I think we need to wait for it to upgrade somehow. And as you can see, oh, what's that? There's other thingies next to the fire, which probably means that we get more abilities, which is awesome. We get different abilities than just fire. Do you hear that? Just sweet. What is it? Exactly what I feared. Monkeys. Look, idiot. Spyro. Perhaps we should turn back. No. What? You idiot. After coming this far? If this door is closed, it means there are intruders behind. It's how the temple protects itself. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work too well, does it? So, what are you saying, Ignitus? What I'm saying is the only way the door will open... Don't say it! ...is if the intruders are kicked out of there. Didn't I just say don't say it? Well, let's do it then. I mean, that was pretty easy, killing the other guys, so... Whatever. Get him. Chase after him. Oh, more. Nice. Give me more blues. <laughs> yeah, now they give me blue ones. That's good. Special one. Gave me more crystals than that. Looks like some dynamite. Perfect. Time to sneak there. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I'm not gonna destroy the crystals yet. Heal, heal, heal. Yay. Oh, there's two different ways. Oh, no, no, there was. I thought that was two different ways, but... Nah. Look at these cool little blue mushrooms. They're cool. Oh, cutscene. That was easy enough. Oh, no, there's more. Hmm. 
Well, Ignitus, we nabbed your guardian buddies, but you managed to escape our clutches. Until now. Stand back, Spyro. And let me show you what a dragon trained in the ancient ways can do. Whoa, the big guy's got some moves. Where? Sick, bruh. Are you okay, Ignitus? Yes. As I get older, it takes longer to recover. Oh, get all the crystals. You're incredible, Ignitus. Can you show me how to do that? Nay. Patience, young dragon. Soon enough, you'll learn all I have to teach. But right now, you must fight. I just did. Oh, we'll fight again. Now I want to get all the crystals. No, 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 I'm on the crystals. Uh. Wait, where'd the red dragon go? Did he just ditch me? Jeez. So many doors. If Cinder's forces were here, there will certainly be more of them in the temple. Oh, goody. They won't be there for long. Wonderful. Now he's getting cocky. Oh, yep. There we go. Alrighty. All the crystals. Oh, look at him, he's excited. He's like, look at this box, look, it's so cool. Hew, hew, hew. green thing is the green pool water thing on the back These ones are fast. Oh, but he got me.
I have to wait for you to go all the way there. Let's walk this way now. Bloody crippled. How can you even fit in there? Oh, come on. I want to see you walk in it. Aww. Spyro, we're not in Kansas anymore. How could they not see that? This is what Singer has When they were done. in like the little mushroom home. Put all the islands under her iron rule. I wanted to see where I came from, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah, no offense, but this place is a bit of a dump. This was once our home, Spyro. Together we can make it our home once again. Reclaim. What's rightfully ours. What do you mean? That's usually what bad guys say. I mean that my time for heroics is past. But with your help, we might be able to beat Simba. I can't, Ignitus. I just learned what I am. You can, Spyro. You can. You are a purple dragon. A very special creature. You've given me hope again. And now it's time to give hope to all of them. I'm not sure what help I can be, Ignitus, but I'll try. I'll try. Good. That's all I can ask. Now come with me. I have something for you. The style you used earlier is crude, archaic, and obvious. But you got the job done. Not bad, considering you haven't been taught anything about what it means to be a dragon. Thanks, I think. But if you're going to have a chance against Cinder and her army, you're going to need to learn a lot more. Oh good, school. Unlike any school you've ever known, young friend. It's now, a fun one, probably. It's time to unleash the true dragon within you. Wish I got this cool. That'd be cool. Each of the guardians the is master of an element. I, as you may have surmised, am master of fire. Pay attention, and you may be someday too. Let's begin. You seem to have learned the ability to breathe fire on your own. That's very impressive and uncommon. But ah, oh, what? Wasn't he talk? Wasn't he finished talking? Very good, oh, young spider. Chase them down with your fire breath. Okay, so we get fireballs. Oh my gosh, oh! Uh, 
Oh, you might have a chance oh, against yes. Cinder yet. Oh, freaking finally! Jeez, that took forever. Oh my gosh, it was like two hours or something. Well, the whole thing was probably one hour. Yeah, sorry about that. So what's with the poor big guy? If you must know, certain dragons have the ability to see visions. The thoughts, memories, and dreams of others. And to see what's happening in places far, far away. I am one such dragon. And in this pool, the visions come forth. Oh really? Is that so? Okay, what am I thinking now? What am I thinking now? Okay, now. Now. Now, 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 now. I'm afraid it's not that easy, Sparks. It takes time, reflection, and patience. What I do see in the Pool of Visions is that Voltia, one of the Guardians, is being held on Dante's freezer. Spino, while I look for details on the others, I want you to venture there and find out what you can. Remember... Just look around. If you encounter Cinder, run. You're not ready to face her yet. Okay, so when people are trying to kill me, I run? Got it. But, Ignitus, how do we get there? I'm glad you asked. Why are you smiling? I don't like it. Let me get this straight. You're saying that I can fly? Maybe you've been hanging in those caves a little too long, old man. Spyro can't fly, we all know that. Yeah, a bit of fresh air might do you good. I've, I've never flown in my life. It's you that will be getting some fresh air, Spyro. Now, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and empty your mind. Yes, yes, that's it. Now feel the power of your ancestors coursing through your body. In times of crisis, they will come to you and teach you. Unlocking powers you never knew you had. Boy, this I gotta see. Just forget everything you ever thought you knew. Forget yourself. Only through forgetting will you remember what your ancient blood already knows. You can fly. Wow. All right. I think I'll leave the episode there. That's a good place to end it. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, and tell me what you think about this series, and if you want to see more, even though I'll probably make more, and then I'll just make you watch it, but, you know. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.